Well, welcome to Logics Magazine, your self-taught tech magazine. Hey, today what we're going to do is we're going to review the Easy PLC software. Now, I just, it's its funny, I guess it's been out for a while, but I personally haven't, haven't run into it. I haven't had a chance to play with it. I haven't had any time with this software at all. Um, it's new to me, and um, I found out that it's been around a little while, at least that's my understanding, and uh, I just have never seen it. So we're going to, if this is new to you, we're all going to see it together for the first time. I spent a couple of minutes on it uh, just the other day in my office, and it seemed really interesting. It reminds me a lot of factory I.O. However, what I seen on on what I what I did notice was that it has simulation software PLC, so you don't even need a live PLC like you do with factory I/O. And I thought that is cool. That is great. That's a real useful tool for a lot of uh, beginners, uh, automation programmers. The fact that you don't need a PLC to hook up to. So um, we're going to try and look at this. Uh, I've got some some crappy weather, and, and I'm using uh, sat, uh, satellite internet, but uh, we'll try we'll try and keep moving along um, and working on taking a look at this uh, this program. So, all right. So let's take a look at this. As I was saying, it's a little bit like uh, factory I/O. And, uh, but again, you don't need the, uh, you don't need the physical PLC, which you do with um, factory I.O., except for um, Siemens. If you use a Siemens uh, software, then you don't need the physical software. You just need uh, Siemens PLC uh, SIM. So, uh, but this is pretty cool uh, looking. Uh, looks like the graphics are are definitely up there with the same level as uh, factory IO um, which is pretty cool uh, okay so it's definitely got me intrigued actually it's got a a, uh, a an HMI simulator as well so that's pretty cool and it's got a, a virtual reality feature to it as well so I mean th it, this could be really revolutionary um, in the in in the world of automation programming this this could really be another level it's amazing i never run into it though um i guess it's one of those things you you're gonna run into it uh um when you're meant to run into it actually they reached out to me and emailed me um and wanted me to take a look at their their software uh for logics magazine and that's actually how i found out about it um, i i didn't go looking for it they found me so let's go ahead and dig a little deeper um, to the degree that we can. <clears throat> so their website is is nitrec.com, N-I-R-T-E-C, or you can put in the Easy PLC Software Suite and uh, find that uh, the software there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go ahead, go ahead and download it, PLC Software Download. There's um, I think a trial feature. And there's even some tutorials that you can buy a course that will teach you how to use their software. So let's go ahead and download it. And I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and stop the video now so you don't have to sit and wait. All right, so we've got it downloaded. Let's go ahead and see what we need to do to configure it for our desktop. Looks like pretty quick. This is just a demo mode if I understood the download options. All right, now we'll uh, see what we have to work with here. Close that, finish our download. So like it's moving pretty quickly through the process. We'll give it a couple more minutes. <clears throat> 
I'll go ahead and stop this and then we'll come back when it, it looks like it's done downloading. All right, we'll save you some time. Oh, it looks like the installation is complete. So let's go ahead and close that. Let's see if we can. Um, all right, easy PLC. So what you're going to get, easy PLC, virtual PLC, CPU, and the HMI system. Yep, so let's open up the uh, easy PLC. Now, uh, mind you, I don't know how to set this up. I don't know how to configure it. I've done none of the training tutorials at all. And this is just a basic introduction. I'm not going to try to teach you anything about it other than to give you, you know, the experience of opening the box. So that's quite, sort of what we're doing here. We're going to open the box to this, to this software together. Take a look at it for the first time together. All right. So what we have is... <clears throat> the software program it opened up all the way but my recording screen I didn't open up to all the way to this the full screen but so we have file program uh, hardware program connection tools etc so if we look at a let's see if they have any uh, pre-built programs just to kind of sometimes uh, new software uh, programs will oh well here we go see there we go so we now we have Quite a few options here you, if you look at it. Um, so, machine simulator, apples, lifter, mixer, pressing. So, so, let's go ahead and open up the lifter. Looks like we got quite a few other options here. All right, so on here on the left in our programming tree, looks like it's refreshing. All right, so we have some code. We have a programming editor. Awesome. All right, so we have some software here, right? All right, so now if we shrink this down a little bit, we can see if our um, virtual editor, it looks like a virtual PLC um, CPU, We'll open that up, see what that does. And then we'll take a look at the HMI as well and just kind of get a, a basic idea of what's involved with the software. But right now, as it stands, it looks like we got a uh, PLC editor, uh, which is awesome. Now, when I did look at this, I think I, I emailed for a quote, and I think this software all included, I think one license was uh, with, a, with a dongle which is just uh, a license you can put on a uh, thumb thumb uh, thumb drive that you can put in different computers. You can travel it around. So it was like less than $100 American dollars. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a great price. If this thing will do what, you know, it's got a factory I.O., it's got a, a software, and you don't need the hardware, oh, I'm telling you, I'm excited just thinking about it. Okay, so the CPU is already actuating, so... All right, so I don't know. Okay, so the HMI system. Now, the real question is, was there some something else that we needed to download that I did not download? <laughs> That's a very good possibility. So let's go back and take a look um, at that software. So we have our... Uh, no project available. So when I open up the HMI, um, it says that there's no project available. So right now I've got the three, looks like three separate softwares. And really I can only open up the HMI unless there's something else that downloaded. I didn't see. Nope. Uh, it will only let me open up the editor. So I don't have the 3D um, software. See, those are mirrors. So I only need uh one of those it just gives you two different places to download it from and the easy plc brochure let's open that up and see if there's something in there that we need to know in order to be able to <clears throat> have this software function all right so easy plc editor let's open this up a little bit so we can see it a little better uh, machine simulator, HMI system is programmed, machines 
uh, simulated VR. That is really cool. I love that idea. Machine simulator characteristics. Boom, boom. So, um, simulator machines in VR, the software designed for virtual reality. Once you create them, since when machines simulator are predefined system launch machines, put on your headset VR. This is so awesome. I'm telling you, I'm excited just about, just, just with the anticipation, just the possibility of, of this, this finally being an, uh, the type of software that we really need in this industry. Um, Factory IO comes really close. It really does. But in my opinion, it's not quite there yet. And I say that because, um, uh, in my opinion, if you don't have a hardware PLC, you don't have uh, simulation software uh, for Siemens, then you're really kind of limited as to what you can what you can do. Now, obviously, you can use uh, a you know MicroLogix 1000, and those aren't very expensive at all. But if you want to use uh, the higher compacts or control logics, uh, you're really priced out. So I'm looking forward to what this could could uh, could do. So what I don't see, uh, we can look at tutorials, but I think that was a paid training program, uh, different videos to teach you that you have to purchase. Um, so. But let's see, maybe there's, oh, okay, maybe there's some, uh, okay, here we go. So, uh, how to create and automate your first virtual machine. We'll take a look at this together. So, there are some training tutorials um, that you can go through um, that's going to be helpful. That's great, actually, and I highly recommend going through the videos and then uh, using that to create your first project. All right, so now I didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to introduce this to you. It looks like it's it's got a little bit of everything that we need. So we got some tutorials. I don't you don't need to watch me watching tutorials. That's not useful. This is your homework, my friends. This is your homework. Go to this software program, Easy PLC Software Suite. It's uh, the company's Nirtec, N I R T E C dot com, N I R T E C dot com. Go check these guys out. Check out this software. I think the price, if, if this will do what they say it'll do and it will function very smooth and easy, I think this is a fan going to be a fantastic, I think I'm going to be all over this thing. This is just uh, fantastic to me. To me, it's awesome. So now it looks like it's, uh, it's off of a um, IEC type of platform. Uh, it's it's um, So it's... It's going to be slightly different than our uh, RS Logix platform, but essentially the same in many respects. So uh, this will be pretty cool to get get familiar with. Um, and if once you learn how to connect this to the three D uh, simulator, then that's going to be awesome. Especially if you don't need a uh, PLC, a, a real hardware PLC to run it. It's going to be fantastic. So, all right. So, I introduce you to a great training resource. Um, you've got some homework um, to play with. Now, I know you probably are already in the midst of a couple of uh, training courses or you've got, you know, other things you're working on. I get it. If you have time um, and you're in between projects, um, add this to it as another great project. Um, if, if, um, at minimum, go take a look at this, all right? Go take a look at this software. Let me know what you think. I'd be very interested. Put your comments down below um, and share with me if you have any experience with this software because I don't. Uh, so it'd be, it'd be pretty cool to get some feedback um, if there's any glitches, any issues. Um, I'm really interested in the VR feature on it as well. So if you have any of that experience with that, feel free uh, to share that with, with me. It's just It just seems like an awesome um software. I hope it lives up to its expectation, my expectation. I put it on a high pedestal. So until next time, this is Paul with Logics Magazine, um, self-taught self -taught tech magazine. We're the resource for self-taught tech. We're kind of rebranding a little bit. We're going to broaden out a little bit because it it is um, 
it is the world of technology. You know, it's it's automation, programming, design, all it's automation. It, there's just so much in this in this field of technology, and robotics and automation is definitely um, a part of it. But it's not all of it. There's just a lot of other technology that I want to really dive into. And uh, anyhow, this is this is what we're going to start. We're going to because I'm an automation guy. I'm an automation programmer at heart and by trade. Uh, we will definitely focus a lot on automation and robotics, but we're going to explore some other um, avenues as well that can easily and will easily be tied into automation. All right, so uh, you'll it'll it'll be fun and be exciting. We're going to interview some people. We've got a whole new path that we're going to be taking. You're going to love it. It's going to be fantastic. I, I look forward to your feedback. All right, so until next time, this is Paul with Logics Magazine.